What's up, Gordon? He says, hey, if I understand correctly, Google assets like Google Sites are easier to get to the top of the search engine results than non-Google assets. Generally, that is true, yes. If that is correct, wouldn't it make sense to use Google Sites for a rank and rent site? And uh, why then do most people choose to use WordPress instead of a Google Site? More functionality. Uh, you can do it with Word, or excuse me, with just a G Site. Um, I like building more permanent assets. So for a more permanent asset, I want a self-hosted site. That's why I do it. You can totally do rank and rent only, your lead gen only with just G sites or just web 2.0s and things like that. But I like to build a brand. And if I'm going to build a brand, then I'm going to want a self-hosted website because what do real brands do? You think real brands just use G sites? No, spammers just use G sites. G sites might be as part of a larger brand, but they're not usually the sole website for brands. <laughs> you know what I mean? So who uses G sites only? SEOs and spammers, <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, there's there's a reason to use self-hosted sites. And that is, you know, if you're trying to build a brand, if you're just strictly trying to do rank and rent stuff and things like that, by all means, yeah, you can get away with just G sites. Um, we've had a lot of people in our mastermind over the years that have done that. So I know, I know people that have built entire businesses on just G sites. So you can certainly do it. Um, I just prefer to have a branded asset that I can build authority to that brand. And what do real brands do? They have real websites, real self on, on, on domains that they control or, you know, register, et cetera. Okay. 